In this video, I'll tell you how to use palettes to make entering input in Mathematica a little bit easier, and also how to use Mathematica to format complete mathematical documents. So the palettes are found under the palettes menu, and let's start with the basic math assistant. So if you click that, we get a small window over here, which has the same kinds of buttons that you would find on a calculator and more. So this lets us do, for example, if I wanted to use the square root button here, I can simply click the square root button, and then it gives me the square root symbol rather than having to type the command SQRT. And then I can type, for example, 100, hit shift enter, and that gives me the square root of 100 is 10. It also allows me to use the built-in constants pi and e. So again, for example, I could ask Mathematica, what's the cosine of pi divided by six? And it's gonna give me the answer of the square root of three over two. So this allows me to get nice looking inputs rather than having to use the built-in functions, which can look a, a, a little bit clunky. Um, if I open up some of these windows, uh, this lets me use some of the built-in functions. So for example, logarithm, absolute value, sine, arc sine, and so on. If I continue going down, I get typesetting, which allows me to use things like matrices, exponents, and subscripts. And uh, if I click the advanced tab, I get even more commands, including a button that lets me define a function. So if I click the define function button, it gives me spaces to fill in the various different things that I need to get the correct syntax. So if I want to define the function, let's say g of x equals x cubed, then all I have to do is type the right things in the right spots, and that gives me my function. And now if I type in g of 2, I get 2 cubed, which is 8. I can also do integrals. So for example, if I click this button, I can integrate from 1 to 4 of, let's say, 3x dx. And if I hit Shift Enter, that's going to give me the result, which turns out to be 45 over 2. If you haven't learned about integrals yet, don't worry. This video is meant to be for various different levels of classes that might be using Mathematica. Something else that we can do with Mathematica is create actual text that defines and explains the things that we're doing in Mathematica. So this function here that we defined, g of x equals x cubed, maybe I'd like to talk about that a little more and include explanatory text. Well, I can click my cursor in between these cells to type text in, but if I just start typing, so for example, I can say this is my function g, well, notice that I get a lot of blue text here. And again, that's because Mathematica is trying to uh, interpret this as mathematical input. What I really want to do is use a text cell that I can format. So let's highlight that cell and delete it. And let's try again, this time using the writing assistant. So this is another palette. Let me get rid of the basic math assistant and look at the writing assistant. And so now what I can do is add a new cell based on what I want to do. So for example, I can add a text cell by clicking text cells and then text cell. Uh, there's actually a keyboard shortcut here, which is Alt-7, which is something you might want to use. Actually, a lot of the Mathematica commands have keyboard shortcuts, as you'll learn. But now I can type, this is my function g. And now it looks a little bit more natural. It's not going to be colored by Mathematica trying to interpret it as uh, some kind of mathematical notation. And then in between the definition of g and the evaluation of g, I can again insert another text cell and say, now let's evaluate g of 2. And again, in my mathematical notation, I use parentheses to plug numbers into functions. I just have to use square brackets when I type it in as a Mathematica command. So we can use natural mathematical notation in our text cells. We just can't do it when we're trying to make Mathematica evaluate that. So play around with very different, various different formats. Again, I can highlight the word evaluate. I can make that italicized. I can play around with a text color. So there's a lot of options here that I can do to make my, uh, my document more interesting and more helpful to make the reader under, able to understand uh, what I'm doing and 